Hi everybody, this is Gold Zero Six Duke, and uh, I put together a little slideshow after this short video here, and a video of nothing but my M1 IP, which cost twenty thousand five hundred and five to repair. Well, anyway, uh, this just goes to show you how biased Wharton or Cajun. Cajun or whatever the heck you want to call it, War Thunder, is when it costs so little to repair Russian tanks, but it costs so much to repair some of the American tanks and a lot of the American planes. I mean, it starts at 5.0 and goes up, I mean, 14,000 to repair on a 5.0 on a Corsair. I mean, come on! It's almost, well, fifteen, almost fifteen thousand credits just to repair it, and uh, <laughs> it's like a tier ten Russian. I mean, they're they're. Uh, check this out. I'll show you here real quick. Yeah, get out of the helicopters. Uh, the the new T-80B, it only costs 4150 to repair that tank, for example. Well, anyway, it'll go through it. But other than the aircraft, uh, the Russian, there's one Russian aircraft that costs 50, 51300 if I remember right, to repair. So... And that's really stupid. It'll never get flown. And that's the one that they stole from the U.S. when one of our crews, our plane was injured and had to land in Russia. And uh, they took it. They didn't give it back. They sent the crew back, but the plane stayed there and they wouldn't return it. So they copied it. And yeah, I don't know if they built any more than that one they had. They probably did, but they copied it and built it. It's a TU-4. Okay, thank you. Have a good day.